guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new here be sure to press the notification bell and if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe and without further ado ladies and gentlemen today's video is a rainbow six siege video and it's called the top five best operators in rainbow six siege so you'll be finding that out hope you guys enjoy and i'll also be saying why and how i changed my name all right so everyone first things off why did I change my name? So, it's because of you guys, my fans. And so, I put a poll earlier in my Discord server that said, should I change my YT name to Pard YT? Because so many people had some ideas about changing it to that since that's my Discord name. And three people said sure. Zero people said no. So, that's why I changed my name. And now I have a new intro and outro that say Pard YT and stuff. And it's just all new for the Pard YT community. And now the Discord is changed to Pard YT community. So, and that's how we're staying for now. So, I think it was a really good change. I think my viewers and everyone enjoyed the change. So, that's cool. I hope you enjoyed the change. Um... But yeah, I gave you guys a vote and you wanted me to, so I decided to change it. All right, now on to the Rainbow Six Siege awesomeness. All right, everyone, welcome to the top five best easy to use attacker operators in Rainbow Six Siege. Number five, Sledge. Sledge is a really, really, really good operator and he uses this really awesome power, which is a hammer that shoots against barricades you can bang it against barricades and they break apart. It's super easy to use and his guns are really good. All right, guys. So for Sledge's guns, you're looking at for a primary, the M590A1, which is a shotgun. And you're looking at the L85A2, which is an AR, which I usually use. And for your secondary, you're looking at the p 226 mk 25 which is a handgun and the smg 11 which is a machine pistol and he has two gadgets two frag grenades three stun gr grenades you can switch between the two whenever you want so that's his loadout so with sledge i use the l85a2 and i like to be very cautious making sure my scope is out then you go in with that nice breaching hammer his special power and in this case we got the one i didn't do much but so that's how you use sledge number four buck buck has this really really nice shotgun power that is a special power that you use on his automatic gun i'll show you how it works right here so guys for buck's weapons we'll be looking at for a primary the c8 sfw which is an ar and the cameras which is the marksman rifle i'm pretty sure i used the ar i'm not exactly sure i think it's the a ar um for the secondary you got one secondary which is the mk 19 mm which is a handgun and for his two gadgets you got the stun grenade and the claymore and his special gadget is the skeleton key which is a shotgun that goes onto his automatic weapon all right so for buck you can switch into that skeleton key which is that shotgun which i just did and then be sure to be very cautious with any gun, just like any operator. Be sure to peek a lot. Don't do what I just did there. All right, so next up at number three, we got Lion. And Lion is one of my favorite operators, period. I really like his powers and everything about him. And I'll show you why right here. All right, so guys, when you're looking at Lion's guns, you're seeing for his primary a V308, which is an AR, a 417, which is a marksman rifle, and an SGCQB, which is a shotgun. And for his secondary, you're seeing a P9, which is a handgun, and the LFP586, which is a handgun. And I really love Lion because he's really cool. He has a lot of great skins, and his power, his power is really awesome. It is a tracker where you click on it and it comes up on your screen for the defenders. And if they move, then you'll be able to see their location. It's a really, really cool power. I'm going to show you how it works. All right, guys. So for Lion, as you can see, we're walking over to this barricade here. And Barry just getting rid of that barricade there. And now I'm using his power. And you use his power. It's a tracker. 
that tracks people if they move. Just killed someone there. Okay, and I watch this really nice kill after this. Watch this, ready? All right, so I'm just walking down there, and there we go. Just got him. Pretty nice, pretty nice kill there. And so, yeah, we won that game. So, that was cool. Two kills. Number two, Jackal. Jackal is a really, really good operator, and many of you think he would be number one. But actually, even though his power is really good, sometimes he's not so good. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you his tracker, just like Lion and all of his other powers. He actually tracks footprints, which is really cool. So I'll be showing you that right now. All right, guys, so this is Jackal. For his primary, you got the C7E, which is an AR. You got the PD. W9, which is a submachine gun, and you got the ITA12L, which is a shotgun. And I use the AR. You got to use the AR if you're with Jackal. And for a secondary, you got the ITA12S, which is a shotgun, and a USP40. And be sure that you're using the ACOG on any gun that has it because the ACOG is really good. And for your gadget, you got a claymore and a smoke grenade, which you can switch between the two. But his main gadget is the Inox model, and it's super cool because you got three of them. And when you scan, you can scan a footprint. So you put on his footprint thing on his head, and then you scan the footprints. You got three scans, and it tracks where exactly the enemy is at the time, and it will track that, which is really cool. All right, everyone, so this clip and this next clip is recorded by my friend. All right, so keep it cautious with Jackal. It's a good strategy. Then he goes down. Quick peek and gets him. So number one is Habana. Habana is a really, really, really good operator, and she has many talents and skills along with her powers and everything like that. But she is better than Jackal in an easy-to-use way, but Jackal has better weapons and stuff, so that's why I put her as number one. All right, everyone. So for Habana's loadout, we're looking at a Type 89, which is an AR, and a Supernova, which is a shotgun. And that is actually the same shotgun as Echo. So that's kind of cool. Um, for your secondary, you got a P229, which is a handgun, and a Bearing 9, which is a machine pistol. And the two gadgets, a stun grenade and breach charge, which you can swap between the two. And finally, you got the X Kairos or whatever. It's this, um, it's sort of like an explosive. So it is an explosive. You put it on reinforcements and uh, they'll destroy that part of the reinforcement that you put it on. If you know, if you have her, you know what she does. She's pretty good, I would say. Um, better than most operators for attack. For the clip with Habana, this is also recorded by my friend last time with Jackal. So it's recorded by the same friend. So this is her power. This is her cool explosive thing that she does to reinforce walls on the back. And there you go. Watch what's gonna happen. It explodes. Look at that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and smash that notification button. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.